Talking about dessert, um, yeah. how do you feel about uh, your nickname, uh, Daddy Chad? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about dessert. Um, yeah, right. Okay. I, I liked how you linked it in. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Lovecast, the Boys Love Podcast. I'm your host, Kayla, and with me are my fellow hosts, Pixie and Alexa. Hello. So we are super hyped for today's guest. You probably know him as Kin's best bodyguard, but throughout his career, he's worn many hats. From movies to dramas, this guy has played just about every character you can think of. Yes. yes. <laughs> the one thing I can tell you all from what's going to happen now is you want to watch it just to hear his reaction to Daddy Chan. <laughs> we will never get over Everyone that. wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you all enjoy. Yes. yes. Enjoy. Welcome <laughs> to the podcast. <laughs> We're really excited to have you. you. Yes, well, I'm well. excited to be here. <laughs> yeah. So did you just want to briefly introduce yourself and what you do? Okay. I'm Peter Knight. Um, I'm an actor. I have recently played a role by the name of Chan um, in the series Kin Porsche. Mm -hmm. And a few other things, but... <laughs> Sure That's the important thing. <laughs> <you>. <laughs> okay. So we wanted to kind of start off with some questions getting to know you. Um, so we can jump right into those. Sure, let's do that. Okay. So what is your favorite <laughs> way to spend your free time? Oh, okay. Apart from sleeping. <laughs> Apart from sleeping. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> Um, I like just the normal things, you know, like I exercise, I read, I read books, I read scripts, um, listen to music, hang out with friends. Um, what else? Uh, exercising. That's pretty much all I do, really. That's a lot. Um, <laughs> That's a lot. And, and obviously learn, learn new things mm -hmm. all the time, or I try to anyway. Um, mm -hmm. And there's also an element of procrastination day day by day, you know, like mm -hmm. day in, day out. There's always a little bit of like, yeah, I can't be bothered, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not like 100% yeah. on it all the time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Makes sense. So what is one dish you would never get tired of eating? Oh, uh probably english breakfast yeah mm -hmm. I, that every I agree day. i agree yeah. i love bacon it. sausages hash browns scrambled <sighs> eggs yeah. the best part about traveling is like being in hotels that have great english breakfast exactly <laughs> yeah. i go on holidays just to go on and be <laughs> in the hotel so i get free breakfast every morning i was like mm -hmm. yes <laughs> Yes, what nice. you want me to go to the beach? No, no, I'm here for the breakfast. <laughs> for eating, <laughs> everything can come later. You need the breakfast first. <laughs> so, what is your favorite place you've traveled to? Speaking of hotel breakfast, right? Um, what is the my favorite place I've traveled to? Uh, probably Thailand before I came to live in Thailand. I think that's fair. Um, <laughs> Apart from that, I mean, you go to the Western countries, it's a different vibe altogether, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you, there's there's so many different aspects of different countries, you know, I can't yeah. really pick one. Um, but obviously the sun, sea and sand is always the, mm -hmm. the thing that everyone looks to do, you know? Um, mm -hmm. You spend all year working and then, you know, when someone asks you where you want to go, you're not going to say like skiing really 
You're gonna like, I want to go to the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not unless you're a big snow person. Not me. Australia was great. Uh, just recently. Well, not mm-hmm. recently, recently, but yeah, it was my last place I was at filming the movie, and oh, yeah. yeah, it was amazing. Queensland, yeah, Gold Coast, yeah, Heather surfers paradise. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> so, do you have a dream travel destination of somewhere you've never been yet? Um, South America sounds great. Mm. You know. Nice. Yeah, I've always wanted to go there, you know, mm-hmm. for many reasons. <laughs> um, I heard there's nice, beautiful beaches there and mm-hmm. stuff. Um, you really like, like, the beach vibe. <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm kind of like a beach bum, yeah. to be honest with you. You will not like coming to my country. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I've spent most of my life living in London. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Although yeah. London is a great city. Oh, the weather uh, I don't is really just... miss. The... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm from Norway. So we do get like London weather just like 10 times worse. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Saying, um, well, it's funny how you said that you're from Norway. Uh, I just, well, about two years ago, I went to Svalbard. Mm. Is, it, is that how you pronounce it? Where there was yeah, no Svalbard. sun for like three months. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that, was, that was weird. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I wake like, up at like 12, like midday and it's like dark. And I'm like, yeah, okay, what do I yeah. do now? Yeah. I mean, I live down by the south, like as south as you can get in Norway. And we still in winter okay. time, it's like dark, cons- like all the time. I, you cannot tell yeah. time. <laughs> I, I felt like I was going crazy at one point. <laughs> yeah. <if you> want. <laughs> <laughs> but nice northern yeah. lights, though. Mm. Yeah, beautiful That's like a light. once in a lifetime to go and watch. Like that's amazing. Yeah. Mm. But you see it once or twice, and you, third time you're like, well, yeah, yeah I've seen I've that. Seen that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that great. You start becoming like an astrologist, not an astrologist. Yeah. Uh, no, so, no, 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 the light's not right. Yeah. <laughs> Become an expert in Northern Lights after a while. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so what is something that you wish people knew about you? Oh, that, oh, okay. Um, It is. Well, (laughs) one thing that I'd like everyone to know is that I can't sing, okay? (laughs) I cannot sing, so, yeah, I wish everyone knows about that. Are you getting a lot of requests for you to sing lately? (laughs) Well, I mean, people automatically think that I can sing. I don't know why, but, um, yeah, Mm. I tried. I think it's like everyone is used to like the the actors in BLs and stuff to to sing like they're used to the, all of them singing so they just expect it. <laughs> yeah, maybe they've. Um, I mean, they may poss- There's a big possibility that most of them have been trained. Yeah, um, definitely. Um, I'm just like, I don't know, even know how I got here to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Like, just, uh, yeah, I've just winged it my way through, you know? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, we will not be hearing you sing on any tour (laughs) with the rest of (laughs) Ken Porsche. Absolutely not, to be honest. (laughs) Absolutely not. It's not happening, you know? I would say, are you sure? (laughs) That that would be the question. Are you really sure? Wait before we go. Listen to me first. Are you sure you want me to do this? <laughs> oh, I cleared the reason. So, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so along the lines of deeper questions, what is your biggest fear? Oh, Singing. rats. <laughs> oh, rat, rats? Like rats. big rats. Rats. Um, I used to have a pet rat. I, I mean, I can I can see them from afar, 
Yeah. You know, I can I can look at them from afar, but when they're in like your kitchen or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's like, kind of gross. I agree. If you don't want them what to do I do there, now, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some of them get really huge. <laughs> Yeah, they do get really huge, and you're like, mm, "What do I yeah. do? How do I get this, this guy?" This is Matt's house now. <laughs> just just yeah. move out. <laughs> especially in like a city, like city rats are a whole mm. different breed. Oh. They have no fear, and yeah. they're huge. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't like them. Yeah, I mean, you know, you find yourself knocking on the door just to make sure, like, to let him know <laughs> that you're coming in. You know, hi, <laughs> can I come in? Am I allowed? Can in you my go house? away, please? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the other Heather thing is said um, they need to pay rent <laughs> <laughs> the other thing would be deep water oh. deep ocean oh yeah, yeah. i feel yeah. you that never one. know what lives down there like i have a deep fear of going out into water and just like not knowing what's at the bottom yeah. i'm just like oh, yeah <laughs> like i mean yeah, Pictures of jaw comes to mind. <laughs> like, no, thank you. <laughs> well, for, for me, it's like because I'm not really a strong swimmer. Mm -hmm. Okay, admittedly. Um, I mean, I can go into the sea, but then, you know, if something was to happen, I don't think I would be, uh, I would be able to hold my composure yeah. to be able to get myself out. And, you know, one, one mishap in the sea and you're dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's scary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel I like it. What? Yeah. No to water. So, <laughs> Changing subjects again. What is the best joke you've ever heard? Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> the best joke. Like, there's been loads, and there's many. You know, there's offensive jokes that I kind of find funny. Um, I'll give you like a non-offensive one. Would be like, what do you call an, a deer with no eyes? No idea. No idea. Yeah. No idea, that's it. You know, that's <laughs> oh, <laughs> that took me a second. <laughs> yeah, I uh, wouldn't have gotten that But one. there's other ones, but you know, I, I don't think this is like that type of show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you like like the so, jokes yeah. like um, uh, Jimmy Carr uh, does? Oh, I, I love know. Jimmy Carr. Oh, Ricky oh, Gervais, oh. you know? Yes. Those are the best ones. Mm. Oh, same, same. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, you know, obviously, yeah, it's, I don't want to repeat the jokes, obviously. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> a time and a place. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I love it. Um, next? Yeah, next. <laughs> we'll just stick to the dad jokes for now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, last one for getting to know you. Do you have any pets? And if you do, can you show us? <laughs> um, I don't have any pets. Oh, um, me neither. Unfortunately, I don't have the time. And I think yeah. to have pets, you mm -hmm. need to have time to look after them it's properly, you know? Yeah. It's not just yeah. like having a pet coming home, feeding it, and then, you know, stroking mm -hmm. it a few times, and then that's it, you know? You have to yeah. take him for a walk, show him love, mm -hmm. play games. Mm -hmm. It's like having a child. Yeah, you're right. Yes, um, yeah. I have both a uh, dog and children. I can attest to that. <laughs> yeah. I my my dog is like ruining my office right now. So, <laughs> but I would love to have pets, though. Uh, mm -hmm. Saying that, I would love to have like dogs, cats, both actually. Mm -hmm. um, in the future, obviously. Yeah. Um, when you have the time to yeah. give it When up. you have the time, when everything is all settled, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man's best friend, as they say. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. So getting into Kin Porsche and just acting in general, how did you first yeah. get into acting? And like, was it something that you always wanted to do? Okay. Uh, Basically, the first time I did something to do with like acting would be like music videos. Mm -hmm. And I came back to Thailand from London on a holiday and I just, mm -hmm. someone just saw me and they just said, uh, do you want to be in a music video? <laughs> That's true. And I was like, okay. 
I was like, okay, but I don't really speak Thai. I couldn't speak Thai at the time. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Uh, mm. But a music video, you don't really need to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just about the vibes. Right. No, you just kind of like turn around, just like smile. <laughs> you know, hey, <laughs> you know, bye. Yeah. You know, all these. And then you have the music in the background, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So that was my first experience. And then I moved, I, you know, obviously I, I shot that on holiday. I went back to London, lived there for about, well, stayed there for until like, three more years, came back to Thailand, and uh, someone, someone saw me and they said, hey, do you want to be in the music video? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention the first time I came back, one of the, the big companies, Grammy, mm -hmm. is a music yeah. label, mm -hmm. and they asked if I wanted to sign for them. Oh. Uh, to to lay to the label, they would turn me into like a singing star, whatever. Not, <laughs> they the they didn't hear me sing at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just let you know they didn't hear me. Yeah. Um, but they said, "Oh yeah, we like your look. Let me turn you into a superstar." And I was like, "Right." So I'm I, I came with my dad at the time and I mentioned mm -hmm. it to him. I said, "Hey, dad." These guys, they want to sign me up. What do you think? Should I stay? He said, nah, just come back. Who's going to look after you here? <laughs> That's funny. So I thought about it and I thought, okay, I can't speak Thai. I can't read or write at the time. Right. Um, yeah, it would be too difficult. So I just went back, uh, came back the second time. I did another music video and I thought, okay, come on holiday, make some money, um, then go home, you know? Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after spending like X amount of years in London and uh, Barcelona and, you know, a few other places, uh, I kind of decided, yeah, I want to try living in Thailand. And then mm -hmm. at that time, I could, I could speak Thai, I could right. read a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought, okay, let's, let's go for it. I came back, I started working for my friend who has a company, marketing mm -hmm. company, and um, what else? I just was at a bar one day, you know, just like bar, just as you do. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. uh, a guy came up to me and he just said like, hey, do you want to do some commercials? <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and um, obviously, I had to go to castings uh, mm -hmm. for the particular job that he sent me for. I didn't get. But when I got there, I met a few more casting agencies who said, hey, here's our number. Let me have your number. Uh, we'll call you up if there's anything, we, if we've got anything. Um, so, yeah, that's how it all started, really. And then I didn't even think about, yeah, this is what I want to be. Um, yeah. So I went casting for commercials and I started getting jobs. Um, and then one day, this guy who was a casting director, he said, oh, we've got, try try going for this movie. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I can't read. He goes, just, just go do the casting. Because at the time I could, I was quite fluent in speaking. Right. Yeah, the, the reading is hard. And I didn't think much about the reading at the time because I was doing commercials. You know, you don't yeah. really need to read yeah. to do. Again, it's just like, <laughs> you know, it's all like movement. Mm -hmm. um, so when I did get the opportunity to go cast for a film, I thought, why not? You know, I've got nothing to lose anyway. The worst they can say is no. And... Um, and for the experience of doing it. So I went to do the casting. I explained to the directors, I can read a little bit because mm. I learned, I taught myself how to read Thai through like reading food orders. Cause I used to be, oh, I, right. I worked as a chef. So oh. I worked as a chef uh, in a Thai kitchen for about like many years. Let's just call it many years. And, you know, after seeing 
distinct lettering and you know right. you you kind of what know what this sounds like that sounds mm -hmm. like so i could do that i explained that to the 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 movie direct the directing team for the mm -hmm. movie and they just told me yeah 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 just just try it okay imagine this and it was a film called dark flight 407 mm. and i just did it's, yeah it's a thai movie and i did the casting mm -hmm. i was like what do you think kind of you know how did i do and and the director's just there like hmm yeah we'll go, <laughs> we'll, we'll go with this guy and i'm like what oh. Again, I was like, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure, sure? Like, I can't read. He goes, don't worry about that. And I was like, <laughs> don't worry about that. You've got a month. I think he said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, you've got like a month. Because basically what you can do is like, you can get the script, take it to one mm -hmm. of your friends, get it translated, yeah. write mm -hmm. it, you know, do whatever it takes, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I did that. Uh, I did like a, a small workshop with like an acting coach mm, and he would sit me down. He'll be like, you know, what do you know about acting? And I'm like, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Is it pretend to act? I can pretend to act. Yeah. And, you know, and he'll just give me like, you know, all these tips and <laughs> try and what's the word I, I can't remember the terms that he's used but yeah it's it's one of those like just so gets you in character blah 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 but mm -hmm. um i didn't really understand too much about acting at the time right. uh i did the job it came out okay-ish i would say in my mind if it was if it was now like i would it would i would destroy every you know it would be easy for me <laughs> i would destroy yeah. it I would destroy right. the role, but but at that time, I was more worried about like pronouncing words mm. and uh, mm. have I got this mm. right? So there's like right. a lot of um, what's the word? You're like stressed. You're not really yeah. thinking about who you are as a character yeah. of that particular mm -hmm. scene. You're more like, am I saying this right? Mm -hmm. Is this going to come out okay? You know. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it came out okay. Mm -hmm. So they say. Uh, I mean, I don't <laughs> think so, it, but I'm not gonna. They're not gonna say it to my face, are they? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love how you just like sort of fell into this career. <laughs> just like oh yeah, definitely. And <laughs> um, and the thing is, I mean, at the time, I didn't think I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you, I definitely didn't feel like I was going into work. I thought I was going into play. Right. Um, maybe not the correct mindset to have, but right. it was yeah. like I still felt good in going into work. And I wasn't like, oh, I have to go into work. You mm -hmm. know, oh, I have filming. It was like, when's my filming? Yeah. I can't yeah. wait. You exciting. know? Yeah. So exciting and daunting at the same time because mm. again i was like oh what, am i saying this right am i am i you know and yeah. it, i kind of like immerse myself into these like you know learning and trying to say it right so i'll be at home i'll be you know reciting the script right. all day all night talking to myself and I actually today i still do the same kind of thing yeah. But just like, you know, I know now like what I need to recite. Like if I'm stuck mm -hmm. on a particular word, I would like be on that word all day or night until I've mm -hmm. got it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that was exciting. But then I, I didn't think, oh, yeah, I've got this career now. I didn't think, oh, wow, I'm, I'm a famous guy. <laughs> because obviously you don't know if you did it right or not. Right. You know, or if, if you're going to be a flop and it didn't work out mm. and people didn't really care. Uh, my pronunciation in that film still wasn't great, you know. Mm. Um, and then after that, I didn't really get a... Oh, I did a few more, but it was like a small role mm -hmm. in like music videos here and there. Mm -hmm. And then a, few, a year or two after... Um, Another company contacts me from out the blue 
and just said, hey, uh, yeah, your name's Peter, right? Yeah, we kind of want you to come in here and cast for this role, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, wow, I was going to give up. <laughs> yeah. um, am I going off topic here? I mean, no, what, yeah, what, no, not at all. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's because um, I, I feel like I'm telling my whole life story right now. So. <laughs> Um, no, it's very yeah, interesting to listen to. That's um, that's how I got into the role, how I got into acting, mm. or yeah, how it started. And no, I didn't think I was going to have this as a career. I knew I wanted to to continue to act, but mm -hmm. I don't think it was like, yeah, I'm. Ex I wasn't expecting too much kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would have been nice. If, it, if I became a global superstar, but, you know, obviously <laughs> I was, you know, uh, yeah, I wasn't being, trying to not be too delusional, you know, right. and be realistic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. what is like one piece of advice or encouragement that you received throughout playing all these roles that has really stuck with you? Uh, I would like to say none. <laughs> none. <laughs> that pause for that answer. Honest. <laughs> um, I would like to say no advice. Basically, I take the crit criticism as advice. Mm -hmm. okay. Um people can advise you on how to do things as much as they want, right? Mm -hmm. um, of course, it's great, um, but it's something that I think is like a lot of things is common sense, really, mm -hmm. you know? Um, it's like you want to be an actor, what, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to just act, read up, research, mm -hmm. learn, practice. It's, it's the same with every everything that you, yeah. you try to do or be good at. Right, so it's the same. Um, I try and listen to the criticism and, and see where. Oh, like if, for an example, I played a role and they said, "Ah, oh, well, you didn't really show emotion, or you don't, you didn't really say that word correct." Right. I would then listen to that and say, "Ah, oh, right, okay, that means that my language skills is not up to scratch or up to the standards," and then I'll take that and and try and better myself. That's what I do. I mean, someone can say like, well, I mean, what kind of advice would someone give someone? Anyway, you should um, you should try and speak better. It's the same thing, isn't it, yeah. really? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Like what advice? Unless they're giving me mar marketing advice, like you should do right. this and go on this social media platform and mm -hmm. market yourself this way or like, you should um, go blonde, Peter. Um, people would love blondes, or you, you know that kind of thing. But no, yeah. no, no one really said that. I mean, mm -hmm. as I said, common sense. Like everyone wants to look at someone who's fit and you know mm -hmm. who's right. healthy and this. Mm -hmm. He's got great hair, great teeth, great this, great that. Look at his body. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. His perfect face. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, the, the the advice is endless, but we already, yeah. well, I already know all of this anyway, you know, yeah. when you can only be right. who you, you can be. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I wasn't, I'm not like, I came here when I was 30, so I, I'm, I was pretty, like, I'm a man, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not 19, 20 years old, yeah. and, yeah. you know, someone's like, hey, let me, um, take you into our factory and you know uh <laughs> you're going to do singing yeah. lessons on monday yeah. you're going to be dancing on tuesday acting yeah, on wednesday on you're going to learn all this stuff and you're going to go to the gym every single day and you know i didn't go through all that this is yeah. just like i just fell into this stuff yeah. man it's just what 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 you want me you want me oh okay <laughs> yeah. you know so i didn't even okay. have time i'm just like what, what what's this what's this you know and just uh, I've had a few friends, one or two, who were like obviously in the industry, just mm -hmm. one or two. 
I mean, I'd phone him up and I'll say, hey, but like, you know, he's he's trying to make it himself. So right. there's not much he can show me. He can give me advice here and there like, hey, listen, don't, you know, don't be late. Right. These guys don't like you when you're late or, you know, do this, do that. Right. But there's not much anyone can do for you unless, you know, you, you need to do it yourself, really. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That no one's got time. Time is money in this industry, and if you can't do it, you can't do it. You know, they'll just change you like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we know that you said on Instagram that Chan is your favorite character you've played so far. But aside from Chan, yeah. do you have another character yeah. that you really connected with or enjoyed playing? Um. Yeah, I mean the first soap soap fantasy drama I played in was really, really good. I love playing that character. He's a mean guy. He's like a villain, <laughs> the main villain. Ooh, uh the, I like being the villain is fun. <laughs> it's the it's it was a show for one of the channels over here and basically it's a fantasy where uh in another realm we all had wings. There was the good, the good guys, mm. the heroes, yeah. and the villains. The the villains obviously wore black, yeah. with black wings, mm. and um, that was my first like soap mm. fantasy drama on TV, nice. and mm. um, that guy was great to play because he was just mean looking, <laughs> um, and. and you know, I got to use like a lot of uh, fierce emotions, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, 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 um, like that. I come, you know, those type of emotion, anger, things like yeah. that. I can portray that quite well. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was imagine. very enjoyable to play. Mm -hmm. I can imagine like uh, acting with like a lot of anger and a lot of, like violence and stuff like it's. I can imagine that it's fun to act out. Yeah. Yeah, it's very therapeutic. Yeah, I uh, can imagine. <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, if I have any problems at home, I would just go out there and just like release the anger <laughs> on the, the actors. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wow. They would be like, wow, Peter, that's so real. <laughs> Who needs therapy when they can just like go and act? <laughs> So Suddenly after that show, method acting. <laughs> the, after that show, I was like, "Yeah, I want to be an actor." Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, at least so, like until I can. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, for as long as it can go on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which role in your career do you think has been the most challenging? Um, would be the most challenging would be, uh, I'm doing a stage play right now. Yeah. Uh, you've probably mm -hmm. seen if you, if you mm -hmm. go on my Instagram, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's the play closer, obviously translated into Thai mm -hmm. and I play Dr. Larry and, mm -hmm. uh, there's like 12 scenes. I have about nine to 10 scenes and mm -hmm. the most for that character, is the, that character has the most scenes, yeah. Yeah. and each mm -hmm. each scene takes up to about like fifteen minutes, twenty minutes wow. to play, and it's all dialogue, you yeah. know, <laughs> yeah. just dialogue in Thai. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I'm I would say I'm like ninety five percent accurate now. Mm -hmm. um, mm. But it's still challenging because it's like it's live performance yeah, in right. in Thai, yeah. and if for any at any point I forget anything, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to to uh, what's the word wing it. Right. <laughs> I couldn't mm -hmm. I couldn't just make up something because yeah. I'm not. I'm yeah. not that fluent in the language for me right. to be able to to hide Improving, the fact yeah. that I forgot a line, you know? Yeah. If it was yeah. in English, I have done a play in English before, 
Mm. And I can do a, any play with my eyes closed if it was in, in English. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but because this is Thai and, you know, I have to be 100% accurate. Mm -hmm. And remember, in right. for 12 scenes, you don't have time to to go backstage and have a break and look up the the mm -hmm. script for the next scene because mm -hmm. Larry, the character that I play, is in like 10 scenes. So that means that I finish one scene, I run back at backstage, change, and then yeah. run back in. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't have time to look at like a script. So yeah. I need to know my script like in and out, like the back yeah. of my hand. Yeah, oh, that's that um, so challenging. So yeah, it's been challenging. I mean, that's what mm. I, that's what I do every day. Is like I wake up and I just recite twelve scenes in in my head and out. And um, <laughs> when I'm, I mean, not every morning without fail. I'll just like recite it, or every day at least I would say the whole twelve scenes, but like without the emotion, just say it out. Right. You know, so mm -hmm. so you don't forget, so you don't like, you know, um, you know, make sure that you're saying it properly, that it makes sense. You know, it's a live performance. I mean, mm. you gotta project your energy yeah. to to yeah. like a hundred people. You know, you can't just say how are you doing that and and you know, I love you. <laughs> you're not you know you don't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the people watching it, <laughs> No, you don't, you know. <laughs> you have to really mean it, everything you say. I'm, I'm so, curious. Yeah. Do you prefer yeah. stage acting to um, filming or do you prefer filming to stage? Um, I think stage acting is a lot more exciting because mm -hmm. there's more pressure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's the pressure to do well makes it more exciting, challenging, Mm -hmm. and more rewarding yeah. um, because like with with a scene on film you could do it a hundred times if you didn't do it mm -hmm. right you can still do it 101 times yeah. you know I mean although they're gonna say hey are you not gonna get this right <laughs> but, <laughs> but, still, but mm -hmm. still they will you know say okay now nah, I think you were too much there can you try again oh mm -hmm. can you just make it a bit more aggressive or can right. you do it like this or can you show her that you really love her that kind of thing mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but on stage you just have to come and bring it straight away yeah. Yeah. and yeah. and then you're going to feel bad when you receive like bad reviews like oh mm -hmm. peter i went i went to watch peter last night and <laughs> whoa you should, you know, <laughs> you should consider another job <laughs> But you don't want that. Oh my God. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> so yeah, so there's always an ele element. Like, yeah, go on. Yeah. Go on. Oh, no, I was just going to ask, like, speaking of, like, roles and different mediums that are challenging, is there, like, a role in the future that you really want to play or maybe, like, a specific medium since you have tried stage acting? Um, To be honest with you... um. And I'm being totally honest here. I would like any role. Yeah, you know, that's fair. I'm a work. Work. I'm a working actor. Yeah. You know, I'm a working yeah. actor. I'm not like um, and and you know by all means like you know certain actors are signed to companies. So oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. They've it's and it's happened to me recently as well. You know, someone mm -hmm. calls me up and says, "Do you you know we're considering you." For this particular role, um, are you interested? I said, yeah, of course I'm interested. What's the role? There are always something to do with. But in actuality, if even if they said, you know, a role that wasn't in that interesting, I would still mm -hmm. take the role because I need to yeah. work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, exactly. yeah. so um, but the problem is, is like, you know, I received the call and. And they said, oh, the production company is going to go with the, the, the actor for the particular channel. Right. And that's because they've 
they they belong to the channel and obviously they're they're working actors as well but they've actually signed with this particular company right. like a cha like a channel for an example like each channels they have like actors that are signed the roster of actors yeah exactly so those guys need to work as well so um they're gonna give certain roles to their actors which is fine i mean i understand all that but yeah so that's so in terms of the industry um it's not like in america or, or i don't know other countries um there might be loads of different jobs and no one signed with every, yeah. everyone does mm -hmm. the casting and you know yeah. everyone mm -hmm. you know and there's yeah. loads and loads of films as well you know yeah. but in thailand there's only a particular set it's not that big yet hopefully yeah. one day that will yeah. change um mm -hmm. but at the present time it's still running on the same kind of um system yeah, yeah where they, you know, they have their roster, they're going to use yeah. their roster because if they don't use their roster, where does their rosters go? Right. Yeah. How do they, Everyone how do they work? work? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, it's, um, but the way, like, if there's, there's a, there's a positive and there's a negative. I mean, if I'm signed mm -hmm. to, if I'm on a roster somewhere else, um, I might not have played in Ron Howard's 13 Lives. Yeah, because I'm true. signed to a particular uh, yeah. roster, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. So I have freedom yeah, yeah. to go and do whatever I want. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely like plus size, plus pluses with like both sides of like being in a company and being like more freelance. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So although Kim Porsche is a different type of show within like the boys love uh, genre uh, did the fact that it is a boys love influence the way you approach the filming of the series no that didn't have any bearings or effect on me I, don't, I didn't look at it I mean when Bon who is the uh, producer mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm or the CEO, or I'm, I'm not sure at, on the actual title. <laughs> um, but he contacted me and um, I met him like in London, like mm -hmm. a, a few years ago. And um, and at that at the time, you know, he, he was working in like advertising or something like that. And mm -hmm. um, if I remember correctly, so I didn't think any of it. When he contacted me in, in in Bangkok, I was like shocked to see that who is this guy? I, I don't yeah. know this guy. And then um, I said this in, uh, on another show, like a mutual friend of ours contacted mm -hmm. me and said, oh, it's Ron, it's the guy that you met in London. Uh, he wants you to play a role. And I was like, okay, let me talk to him. And he just basically sent me the the trailer which looked amazing mm. and and he said he wants to he wants he wants me to play this character called chan who's the head bodyguard mm. are you interested i was like yeah yeah let's do it Absolutely. so I, I didn't know it was a bl series yeah. or anything like that mm -hmm. but i saw the trailer and i thought okay this it looks different um but again it didn't like oh this is a bl yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's quite like you know art art yeah. kind of like yeah. trailer yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. Guns and i thought wow this looks cool of course i want mm -hmm. to be involved uh before the series mm -hmm. even aired there were uh, loads of promotions happening for the show uh, what was the media showcase and other promotions like uh were they fun or was it just like a lot of hard work <laughs> or both? <laughs> um, well, I mean, yeah, I can't really answer that because <laughs> I wasn't part of their media mm -hmm. marketing at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. I think Chan was a late, late, uh, what's the word? Addition. Addition. Mm -hmm. The last addition to the cast, I think. Yeah. And obviously they did yeah. their promotion um uh yeah they did all their marketing their promotion from the very beginning so mm -hmm. you know again yeah. and also um you know i'm not with the company um yeah. even though you know 
the, these guys are great. Um, mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. most of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wasn't part of their, the plan, yeah. from the initial plan. I think, you know, they're not just going to start the company and say, hey, Pete, do you want to join our plan? <laughs> 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 they would have had a strategic plan laid out. So, you know, that's that's it, really. Um, mm -hmm. So, no, I, I, I'm not sure. I mean, it looks great. looks fun. I think they filmed yeah. everything. Um, mm -hmm. They went on trips, outings, workshops. Uh, I think they did, you know, they did a workshop for a year, maybe, I think, even mm -hmm. before they actually mm -hmm. started filming. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I so assume I, that it would be fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, like... One of the things that are very different, like within Kim Porsche, is that there's a lot of fighting, and it's right. really impressive see, seeing like the behind the scenes because everyone is fully committed. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. What was the training process like for these fight scenes? Okay, for for the other fight scenes, I can only say for my fight scenes. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, for my fight scenes, which. I mean, really and truly, I only have, I think, about two. Yeah. So one one is that I'm climbing out of a car and shooting someone in the ah, head. Ah, yes, that was. <laughs> uh, yeah. And um, that, basically, the director just asked me, can you do it? Uh, do, you <laughs> think, do you think you can do it? I said, yeah, of course. <laughs> Go for um, it. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to climb out of a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been like dreaming of this. Uh, <laughs> going to stand on the car <laughs> <laughs> while it's driving. <laughs> yeah, I was like, mm -hmm. hey, listen, I'll even climb out of the car. <laughs> but yeah, that, there's that. Um, so I just basically, with that scene, I just asked him to go slow at first. Mm -hmm. so I can get the rhythm of climbing out right. and grabbing on without, you know, yeah. placements. I mean, I think that took about like five, ten minutes. Oh, wow. Really. Um, and then the last fight scene, that was probably around two hours. Yeah, that was um, so Because I've, I've done like fight scenes in other roles mm -hmm. so i kind of know how to hold a gun and right. maybe choreography like how it all works you know mm -hmm. so I've, I've had that kind of like experience i'm no expert yeah. uh, but i have the experience mm -hmm. in knowing what they want so it didn't really take long i just needed to know the movements for mm -hmm. like you want me to go here shoot here turn mm -hmm kill this guy, kill that guy. And it's like a pattern that you need to kind of like remember. It's mm -hmm. like a dance, basically. Right. Um, so you remember a, a, a dance, so you know where you're going. You, you know you're going to duck here. You know you're going to shoot mm -hmm. there. The rest is just like, you know, acting in terms of like emotion. Like you're mm -hmm. killing someone, you know. You're going, ah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's, it's, it's out. Yeah. <laughs> Or, or you want to be cool and collective and then, you know, you're just like, bam, you know, straight yeah. face, mm, stone yeah. cold killer, it just depends, you know. <laughs> but, exactly. yeah, it's just like a dance. You remember the moves, yeah. you remember the, the, the steps, that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have, like, a favorite, favorite action scene from the show, either one you did yourself or that you watched? That I watched. That I watched yeah. my favorite from fight one of the scenes. Other, like um, oh. one of yours or from one of the other fight scenes in the show. Mm -hmm. Oh, my fight scenes are the best. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. My no fight else. scene. No one, no one else. <laughs> no, I saw a few other ones. Um, you know, Kim, uh, he looked mm -hmm. pretty cool. You know, yeah. coming out with there with his long hair and stuff, mm. but yeah. <laughs> but still, it doesn't doesn't top me. Yeah. You know, yeah. come yeah. on, yeah. absolutely, come yeah. on, <laughs> bringing that Chan energy. 
<laughs> Speaking of like the Chan energy, I have to ask this because we got this fan question a lot and it kind of ties into fight scenes. A lot of right. people want to hear you repeat that English line with Vegas and oh, Gun really? right before you open that scene. We got so many people asking about that. I feel like yes. we got to hear it. Well, <laughs> yeah, with that scene, um, like people just said, hey, listen, um, originally I was going to say something in Thai and it was quite mm-hmm. long, long-winded, mm-hmm. I think it was. And I think they just wanted to like get on with it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, there was not have a conversation because, you know, someone's coming to kill, you know? Yeah. So you're not going to have like <laughs> a, little a long down. conversation like, oh, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, that, nah. yeah. And plus it was, plus it was the final episode. So yeah. I think they just like wanted the bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Exactly. So, so he's like, "Yes, yeah, s- say something to Bible in English." And um, because I have, I have, wasn't really in any scenes with Bible, mm-hmm. uh, Vegas. Uh, I didn't really know know him. Yeah, I didn't really know him yeah. to be honest. Yeah. And I met him once, once here, and there's loads of people. So yeah, you're not really true. gonna like, hey, come over here. I've never met you. Let's talk. <laughs> Let's chat. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I didn't even know he could really speak English. Mm, um, right. So, but but then Pipan obviously knows everyone. So he's like, no, 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 this guy, he can speak English. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, let's go then. So, so he's like, I was like, okay, so what do you want me to say? And he's just like, I don't know. He just, just say something. Like, okay. <laughs> So, so I kind of thought about it, and so I, I said, like, I asked Bible, what are you going to say, Bible? And he was just saying, because I'm going to say in Thai, it was like, um, what did I, I said, I said in Thai, like, what are you doing here? You know, what are you doing here? Um, sorry, you're not allowed here. I wasn't given permission in Thai, right? Yeah. Uh, Gun comes out of the car, he says, hey, what, what's you know, going inside? I said, what are you doing here? So then I knew Bible was going to say, like, know your place or know something, know your role, know your place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I thought, okay, I need to I need to have a good comeback here. I can't just, <laughs> like, I can't just say, like, what's your mouth, kid, or anything like that. <laughs> so I just thought of the line, like, you know, Hey, I'm I'm like an old, I'm an adult here, but, you know. How do I say something to him? I was going to add little man, little boy in there, but, <laughs> yeah. but I thought no, no, that, that, that's, that's like that would have been disrespectful, and and mm-hmm. Chan wasn't disrespectful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. so I thought okay, let's keep it like because his dad's standing there. I'm not going to call him a little boy in front of his his dad, you know. But I needed to shut him up, so. I thought, okay, right, he's a boy. I'm gonna tell him, listen, the adults are speaking. Yeah. Mm. And and that, you know, you you'd be well advised to turn around and go home. Mm. So, so that's like me sending him straight back home. Yeah. Basically. Mm-hmm. That's um that's what so I just said that and that's it. The rest is history. Sure. <laughs> <Thank> you, iconic. <laughs> Nice. Um, yeah, so it worked out well then. Also with the cigarette scene, you know. Yeah. Um, oh. Oh, yeah. I just went back and I asked people and I said, hey, listen, uh, I want to smoke a cigarette when I die. <laughs> and he goes, go <laughs> He goes, go for it. Yeah, do it. Do it quick though, you know. And I thought, yeah. yeah. Obviously, I can't just do it. I, I need to tell them this is what I want to do. Can right. I do it? And obviously, they're great. You know, they're they're open to ideas. And you know, if it didn't make sense or if it didn't look cool, I'm sure they wouldn't have used it. You know, yeah, it worked yeah. out for the best. I yeah. think. Oh, yeah. Not really. Yeah. Well. No. Yeah. Iconic. So. But, what's yeah. Your... Yeah. Good one. Uh, yeah, I was just uh, wondering, like, what's your process to getting into character? Which character? Is that's the uh, thing? In uh, Chan, as an Chan, Chan. I didn't use 
I didn't have any any process at all. Um, <laughs> I didn't workshop. I didn't do anything. I I just basically, you know, obviously we're given an idea of what a character will be like, um, and then you then you have you would need to use your own imagination and um, <clears throat> and and bring what you think. They'll give you a script. And they'll say, this is what you're going to say. Um, but th then you need to use your, like, your your thought process of wh mm -hmm. why you think this guy is going to talk the way he talks, walk the way he walks. Um, and that's basically, you know, I'm thinking this guy, he's looking after the big boss, rich, super rich. He's, the, the boss is not just going to hire anybody to guard him. He's got to yeah. be like, like some serious bodyguard, you know? And that's basically, once I got serious bodyguard, um, confident, he's going to be skillful, confident, uh, he's not going to mess about. And that's basically what I did. I'm not messing about. I'm here to like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, I'm putting you in your place. I'm putting every single guy in in that any scene I'm in, I'm putting every single one in their place. Like, what are yeah. you doing? What, oh, do you, yeah. what did you say? Yes. You know, <laughs> you know. Apart from the guy who's hiring me and his right. son, <laughs> everyone else. You know, everyone else. They're like secondary. You know, mm, yeah. there's no messing about here. You know, that's that's how I took the role. So, um, I tried to portray that as much as possible, and obviously on my first day there, which was EP2. Mm. Um, I think we filmed that. That was my first first time on screen. And I just did it and I just got the thumbs up and that was it, you know? So I was like, okay. I got the character. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think I did it twice. I, it's two takes, you know, like obviously um, yeah, I mean, I don't remember me doing repeating any takes yeah. for that many times, you know. Um, I mean, to be fair, I mean, he didn't really have that much to say, <laughs> but still, um, in terms of mannerisms, you know, I, I still needed to like bring all that out, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. so yeah, so that's like, it. More, like workshopping and process process building that's not a word but it's what came to mind for something yeah. like your current like the stage play that you're doing does is there more that's going into something like oh that? yeah i mean for the stage play i mean i've been rehearsing for three months wow. with, the, with the stage play yeah. um like it's you know remembering each scene i mean i do a scene where there's no communication we're on the laptop i have to still remember mm. what that guy is um saying because there's subtitles we can't see yeah. the subtitles we can only hear bling bling <laughs> we can only hear his sound so i need to know um where he's at on his like sound on his ding <laughs> and um <laughs> Exactly. So he's going to say the first, his first thing would be hello. And then the second sound would be from my computer would be, say it's a bong. So it'll be a bong. My, my bong will be high. And then he'll send back, how you, how, how are you doing? I'll say, mm -hmm. fine. And then he'll say, uh, is this your first time? I'll be like, no. Uh, I've, I've been here before, whatever, you know, it's just right. having a whole conversation like that. So mm -hmm. any, if I miss one or forget what he just said, I can't continue. And, you know, when you're having a hundred people watching and it's yeah. like, it's quite, and if you mess up, it's like really bad because there's a part where I need to pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. So if I don't know where I'm picking up the phone and it doesn't go with the subtitles that's above me, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, yeah, so I've been rehearsing that for three months. Not that particular scene, but the whole, the whole um, yeah. closure. Yeah. Three months of, like, continuous talking, 
to myself <laughs> and going to rehearsals and acting with the actors because it's not just dialogue. Once you have mm -hmm. dialogue, you then have to act or you then have to portray the emotion to go with the dialogue. Yeah. And does it make sense with the story? Yeah, it's very complicated. So it's been a good experience. It's been, um, yeah, very rewarding in terms of I gaining imagine. acting experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. So overall, what has been like the wildest or most unbelievable part of the whole Ken Porsche experience? Um, unbelievable. Um, I mean, I'm thinking like me climbing out of the car for the first time in my life was quite <laughs> unbelievable. Um, it was definitely an unbelievable experience. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was great, you know. I thought, wow, this is what Tom Cruise does, you know, yeah. to a lesser <laughs> extent, to a lesser, moment. I mean, Tom Cruise jumps off planes and stuff, the but, you know. Thai Mission Impossible. It, it's a start. Yeah. It's a start. <laughs> the plane's next. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's probably the most, um, in terms of unbelievable, exciting, um, yeah, thing I did on the show. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I can, and I seeing can Ken's mean. head. Uh, oh, yes. oh my god yes. that was such a shock <laughs> i was like whoa that looks real oh it is real <laughs> <laughs> it was so well done but yeah, yeah i love that that's become such a meme <laughs> <Ken's head>. yeah <laughs> um so obviously the popularity of ken porsche i feel like yeah. is more than anyone could have imagined so like right. what do you think contributed to the series becoming like such a success and gaining such a massive following okay well i mean to be honest i mean i didn't know about kim porsche at the very beginning yeah um, um and i believe that it's a famous comic book book novel yeah right mm -hmm. novel right novel. yes um and I didn't even know about BL right. things and stuff and books yeah. and fandom and any of this. <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I didn't know about it. And, but I do believe once I, you know, once I got the role, I started looking into it obviously and i believe that it's a famous novel and and i think and it's read around the world so i think that's why it's been quite popular or very popular mm -hmm. and obviously um that's just from the the beginning right 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 yeah you know, to get to get everyone excited um obviously we have to clap our hands to the production team you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. to for making it an epic series you know the cinematography the acting the scenes the everything um so i think that's why and you know once it's once it was like episode one came out uh everyone was exciting it was talked about yeah. it was on twitter everything like that and i think that what what uh contributes to like people joining joining in who never knew about it they're like oh what's this what's this series? Oh, why is everyone talking about yeah. this series? Maybe I should have a look. And then they look and then they get into it and they're like, wow. And then they start posting and, and, and their friends are getting involved now. Yeah. And, and then it just snowballs into like a big thing. I think that's what's happened. Yeah. Yeah. The, the power of fandom <laughs> and yeah. word of mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So if you could say, one thing to your character Chan, maybe as like a yeah. farewell or something, what would it be? I would say, Chan, get up. It's three bullets. What's wrong with you? Stop messing about. That's what I <laughs> okay. said when I watched Mood. it. Mood. Mood. Come on, get up. What's wrong with you? Come on, get on home. Watch some Netflix, Chan. 
<laughs> we can make it back that's from this. It. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, so we got obviously a ton of questions from your fans, and they're kind of a range of different topics and things like that. So I'm just going to kind of get into some of those. Um, yeah. What is one dish that you're most confident in cooking for someone else, like say for a party or something like that? Right. Um, okay. <laughs> if you I would one. say, <laughs> listen, are you guys insane cooking? <laughs> Let's go to the restaurant. Throw money Same at the here. problem, what? okay? You cannot cook an English breakfast for me? What is this? <laughs> no, I mean, look, I've, I've been in the kitchen now um, for about since I was 16, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, I started off as a dishwasher, okay? So I've been in the kitchen for like, yeah, a good 10 years. Even when I... Went into ventured into other work. Right. I was still working in the kitchen in the nighttime in London, right? And my dad's got a restaurant. I worked with him, or I went mm-hmm. to work somewhere else, you know. Um, and it was tough. Yeah, it's oh, hot, yeah. and you go there and it's busy, and you cut this up, you cut that up. This one's finished. You can got to go and cut the chicken, the beef, the pork. You got to do this. I was working in a Thai kitchen, so I was doing like steamed dumplings and I was like rolling yeah. the spring roll. I can yeah. do all of that. But let me tell you, I've rolled probably about 10, 20,000 spring rolls in my life, right? I don't want to roll another one. <laughs> okay. I feel that. Right? And steamed dumplings, um, the fish cakes, the Thai fish cakes, the pad Thai noodles, the green curries. Mm. I can do it all. I've opened mm. a restaurant. I've opened like a business where I'm cooking in uh, a bar, a pub, mm. where I cook. Yeah. My The part of the business is just like the food. So the, mm-hmm. the bar would take their money for, for, for their clients or the customers right. that come in and the drinks. But I just cook for the bar and then I, I take the profits from the food, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't want to cook anymore. <laughs> no more. <laughs> I, really, I, I don't want yeah. to cook for anybody. I don't even cook for myself, right? Mm. I'm like, why do you want to cook? Like, it takes. Yeah. This, it. <laughs> honestly, yeah. honestly, yeah. Um, this is my take on it, okay? You, you think about a dish that you want to make. Mm-hmm. You go you go to the shopping, uh, the supermarket to buy all that stuff, the groceries, mm-hmm. right? The vegetables, mm-hmm. the beef, the carrots, the everything, right? You're cooking for like, you. how long do you think you spend cooking? Like a real meal where you have to like actually physically peel the potatoes, right? Way too long. You're spending about <laughs> an hour or two yeah, an hour hours, ago. right? Yeah. Once you, you're done with cooking, right? You put it on your table. It takes you five minutes and it's done. It's finished. And then you have to clean it all up. <laughs> yeah. You spent three hours cooking to eat for five minutes. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Oh, I had exactly the same sentiment. Throw money at the problem. That's what I say. Same. Yeah. Just order delivery. <laughs> Or go um, to a restaurant, you know, yeah. where there's yeah. chefs that will be happy to cook for you. Absolutely. Because yeah. <laughs> nice. this chef won't be. <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen is closed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, cooking is the most stressful thing in my life. And I have children, so I have to cook for them. But if it wasn't for the kids, I would not be. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, exa- exactly. You know, like, Obviously, you know, you, you come home from a hard day's work and, mm-hmm. and, and then you have to cook. Keep You're like, working, oh, no. basically. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, there was a time I was working uh, for a company overseas and, you know, we had to cook because yeah. um, the, what's the word? The, the, 
oh, I can't think of the word. <laughs> so okay. the the cost of living is right. different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can get a meal here in Thailand for say. Um, where you got? You're in America, the US, Mexico. right? Yeah, me and Kayla. Right. Are in the Where's US everyone and, from here? Um, me and Kayla are in the US, so we're on the East Coast, and then yep. Lucy's in Norway. So yeah, all right. From okay. Australia. Yeah, the okay, cost of so... living is sort of like the same here because um, it's too expensive to eat out all the time, so you sort of have to. Right. Yeah. Another thing, another point I would like to point out is that um, for, say, five euros, what can you get with five euros? Ten euros. You might get a sandwich, right? Yeah. Barely. <laughs> yeah. You'd yeah, probably <laughs> only get a sandwich. But in Thailand here, mm -hmm. you'd get a meal yeah. for five euros. And it's mm -hmm. like, you know, you get meat, you get rice, you get noodles. So so yeah. um, that's what I mean about like, you know, mm -hmm. I went back to yeah, London. I went back I went back to London and all I could buy was a sandwich for, for like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I couldn't I afford a meal. A meal <laughs> Ten euros, I would not be cooking either. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um what, what what question are we? Did oh, I did? Uh, that, you did answer the question. Did that, I did not divert. <laughs> I gave you too much information, didn't I? Okay. No, we love it. We love a good. Tip. We love yeah. tangents on this podcast. So. <laughs> <Apparently>. <laughs> so kind of in the same vein of talking about food, um, do you right. prefer sweet or salty food? And if you prefer sweet, they want to know if you have a favorite dessert. Oh, okay. Um, I don't like, in terms of food, uh, I mean, in terms of desserts, great. I love desserts. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like food with sweets, like not, not like, um, you know, I wouldn't want a pad thai if it's too sweet. I wouldn't yeah. like it. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? mm -hmm. um, sweet is for desserts only, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? I agree. Um, yeah, I mean, there's like thai food. Thai desserts are great. Uh, there's mango and sticky rice. You know yes. that's amazing. And there's also another one by the name of um, Boa Lai, which is basically coconut milk with um, tapioca. I believe it's like a t tapioca base uh, dessert. Um, egg tarts. Egg tarts. Yeah, mm, is one another yes. one. I love egg tarts. Mm -hmm. And if we're going more Western, I like the creme brulee, you know, right. panna cotta. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff. Um, in terms of ice cream, rum raisin. <laughs> you know, oh, can't okay. beat a rum raisin. Yeah, really. <laughs> that, um, I think is like my grandfather's favorite <laughs> ice cream flavor. Yeah. Love a good no, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's rum great. Raisin. <laughs> yeah. Talking about dessert, um, yeah. how do you feel about uh, your nickname, uh, Daddy Chad? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about dessert. Um, dessert, right, okay. I, I liked how you linked it in. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was perfect. <laughs> that, that, was, that was a good one, Pixie. Okay. <laughs> you like desserts? All right, Daddy Chad. Okay. <laughs> Right. Um, how do I feel? I mean, um, honestly, if it's online and it's written, um, it doesn't mm -hmm. really affect me that much, mm -hmm. you know. But if, I mean, if, if it was in person, real life, or like, you know, if we're talking online, you're talking, calling me Daddy Chan all the time, I feel a bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> right. I was like, um, even if you if you call me Chan all the time, I'd, I'd still mm -hmm. feel weird. Because yeah. like, hello, You're I'm like, Peter. I'm Peter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like in real life, and and in real life, if you came up to me and said, "Hey, Daddy," and I'd be like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. I think anybody would be like, "What?" <laughs> A little yeah. weirded out. <laughs> I was like, "Okay, let's um." Moving 
God. Let's start again, shall we? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Take a couple steps back. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> So I love um, the energy your fans have been like giving online with just having fun with it. Yeah, I mean that's what um that's what it's there for, I think. I yeah. mean I'm not gonna be super serious on there and start like, you know <laughs> um, Please don't call me stop. daddy. <laughs> yeah. You know, if it, if it's online, I mean obviously I try not to sometimes I mean there ha there hasn't been there's there's maybe been one or two but no one's really like out of line or mm -hmm. you know weird about gone too yeah. far or you know i'm not i'm not or if they did i mean i'm i don't think i'd probably answer it anyway mm -hmm. um, yeah. mm -hmm. they haven't offended me or anything like that but it's just no oh hello i'm sorry yeah I mean, it's puppy. <laughs> yeah no that's fine there hasn't been any um like anything rude or anything too offensive that you know um i can't take it's not going to affect me in any way shape or form yeah. um mm -hmm. i've been through too much in my life to be affected <laughs> by anything so, <laughs> so <laughs> nothing um but it's great i mean if they're happy and you know and and you know obviously the true meaning of it um and and what certain people might be calling me that might not be the same so mm -hmm. so i'm not going to jump to any sort of conclusion okay <laughs> if it makes them happy or if it makes you happy um i'm good you know <laughs> i'll i'll still respond i'll still talk to you it's not a problem yeah <laughs> you know? as long as you're not being rude and offensive to me um then we're good. You yeah. Know? It's a good attitude to have. Yeah. 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 Um, so you kind of segueing again, you've been very into the world of Twitter lately. And I know right. we've been seeing a lot of your interactions with the fans and stuff. Yeah. Do you have a favorite like meme or edit that's you've sent gotten sent from a fan that like really made you laugh? Um, yeah, uh, they were the baby ones. I mean, I, I, oh, <laughs> yeah. quite, quite recently, I've been receiving baby chans. Um, <laughs> oh. I don't know how that's come about. I'm like, what's going on here? Did I miss something? We went from daddy to baby. Daddy to baby. <laughs> from daddy that's to so baby. funny. I'm like Benjamin Button all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love the reference. <laughs> I've transformed. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's great, you know, um, yeah, that's been the funny ones. I mean, I don't mm -hmm. really, I haven't looked too much into like what other memes have come about, mm -hmm. you know, um, otherwise I'd be there all day, honestly, <laughs> on the phone. Yeah. I mean, right now, I mean, I answer a lot of fans. Um, I do that because, yeah. you know, I know, I know it makes them feel good, you know, and some, some, some that I read and you know, some people or some fans, they're like, you know, they're coming to me with genuine problems and, mm -hmm. and, or advice, not problems, but advice, um, you know, they're going through something. And I think if it makes them happy just by, you know, whatever it is I can do, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, if I have, I've got the time, I'll do it, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really see myself as like wow you know don't i'm some big shot and you know i'm not i'm too good for you guys or anything like right. that or mm. whatever um if i you know if someone's coming up to me asking for advice and i can help them in any way shape or form in terms of giving them advice or giving them motivation or anything or encouragement um why wouldn't i do that yeah mm. you know mm. it makes sense to do that or, you know you know, they're following me, you know, they're, mm -hmm. they're giving me their time. Why are you not giving their time? Mm -hmm. it, it works both ways, I, I feel. That's the way I feel about it. Um, I'm not sure about who does what and what what other actors or whoever does right. what, whatever they do. And that's their thing. That's mm -hmm. how they do it. That's how they do it. This is how I do it. Um, yeah. And that's just me. Um, I'm not going to pretend I'm someone else. I'm not going to pretend... I did something different or I'm special, anything like that. 
And that's it, really. It's the right mindset to have, I think. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Okay, so the next question we got a lot. Um, do you have any recommendations for staying in shape or a, lot, a typical workout routine that you do a lot? No, I don't, actually. Um, what I give, what I can say is consistency is the advice if you yeah. don't have consistency, uh, you can have the best workout. I can give you the best workout that you've ever heard in your life. But if you don't have consistency to pull that off, then no matter no matter how much you run or train or if you don't do it every single day, make it who you are, mm -hmm. then there's no way you're going to be in shape. Mm -hmm. You know, you can listen to whatever you want to listen to as much as you want. Um, have five minutes ab thing, whatever, eat this, eat that, do this, do that. If you don't do it, like, cal it's basically science, right? Yeah. Calories mm -hmm. in, calories out, calories burned. Um, mm -hmm. If you're not doing what, you know, what you're supposed to be doing, then there's no way you're going to be in shape. So there's no yeah. really real tip on how to stay in shape. The, the real tip is consistency. Do it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. don't yeah. read about it or watch it or listen to something. Oh, Just, yeah. you know, you have to, um, what do you call it, exercise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to actually do it. <laughs> exactly. So consistency. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did I go too far? Did I talk too no. much about that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jeez, this is what the Everyone went quiet hear. there. I was like, oh, did I say something? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Um, so what is one thing you have always wanted to do, but haven't gotten the chance to do yet? Oh, um, always wanted to make a film. Mm, nice. Ooh. Yeah. Make a film, you know, develop the story. Um, you know, some cool film, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. That's one, one, one of the, one of the goals. Yeah, one of the dreams. We're seeing in the future. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Nice. Um, kind of in that same vein, do you have a favorite movie? I do. Um, Snatch is one, and uh, yes, and Pulp Fiction. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. oh, Pulp Fiction. Of course, yeah. of course, Pulp Fiction classic. Yeah. And for the time that it came out, um, yeah, it was just amazing. And I've never seen anything like it, you know? Yeah. So at the time, it was like, wow, this film is amazing. Like the yeah. scenes. I've never even seen scenes like this before, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, where she overdosed and, and, and he stabs her with like the, the what's the word? What's that thing? Um, the injection, um, the adrenaline injection. Oh, yeah, adrenaline yeah too, you know, <laughs> I've never seen yeah. a film with a, you know, a scene where someone's overdosed. You know, yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a classic for a reason, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I know you kind of talked about before that as an actor, you kind of take you know whatever roles are given to you, but if yeah. you could like an ideal world choose a type of genre you wanted to act in or maybe a genre yeah. of film you wanted to create since you just said that like what genre would you choose um well um probably something along the lines of like well definitely an action mm -hmm. action mm -hmm. action gangster peaky blinders um cool mafia kind of like mixed with korean like shoots nice. cool stylish kid <laughs> yeah. you know all of that bring, bring all the elements in you know mm -hmm. nice yeah, yeah something like that Ooh. yeah i can imagine combining all of those elements would be something epic oh i hit up Okay, so we have to ask, since we talked about 
the Chan line before to wrap up the fan yeah. questions. Can you say it with the Chan energy so that they can relive oh, it? Oh, God. Reenact it. <laughs> Reenact it. Three, two, one, action. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta prepare first. <laughs> Should someone be Vegas? <laughs> no, it's fine. Happy, <laughs> uh, I'd be something along the lines of um, I don't know if I can do it. Um, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the adults are speaking. You'd be well advised to turn around and go home. Yes. <laughs> I might have smiled. Did I smile? Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. That doesn't help that we were sitting here smiling while you were yeah. saying. No, but the people listening to the podcast, no. not watching it, will not know the difference. <laughs> was, no, that so was is awesome. Is um, someone actually listening in right now? Not right oh, now, no. No, no right. it's not okay. live, luckily. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we would be able to do a live podcast with the three of us in our chaos. No, no, no. Okay. no. it would be, be never ending. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have just a couple of final questions to kind of wrap sure. things up. Sure. Um, if you could ask, since we got so many questions from your fans, if you could what? ask one thing to your fans, what would you want to hear from them? Um, I can't. Oh, I, I thought this question. This was a hard <laughs> question. Oh, yeah. Like, why me? Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure I'm the right guy to follow? <laughs> Going with the theme. <laughs> <laughs> Are you completely sure you're following the right guy here? <laughs> I think they are. I can, I can understand after. All the the great energy we've been getting today, I think they all made the right <laughs> choice. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> okay, so we talked about a lot about your stage play that you're currently doing. Um, yeah. Aside from that, do you have any future projects coming up that fans can look forward um, to? Yes, I do. I mean, I don't have too much information on it though. Okay. Um, there is a. I'm shooting a film in October. Um, it'll be it's an American film. William Baldwin will be on board. Oh wow! Um, oh. The films, I mean, from what I'm told, it's called God Soldier. That's all I know. Uh, yeah. um, Sounds cool. And then obviously, all that can change. So don't right. you know? Obviously, everything can change at any given time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And there's also another role in the Thai series. I don't nice. have any details on that. <laughs> right. Just to know that. At it's all. <laughs> uh, I know I'm playing a police guy. I don't know if it's a oh. good police guy or a bad a cop. Mm. Guy. I, don't know which, I, don't, I don't know the role as such. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So there's definitely things to look forward to. That's so exciting. for anyone that's watching, um, you know, if you want to hire me, I'm, I'll be available. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Cast him. I'll do it. I'll do the role of justice. Okay. Do you have a message that you want to share for your international fans who will be tuning into the interview? Oh, um, well, basically, I mean, I just want to say thank you, most of all, for like giving me positive feedbacks and, you know, giving me support, encouragement and all the time as well. Um, and that, that's one of the reasons why I like do the same, you know, yeah. and, you know, try and press as much likes as I can, answer them as much as I can. Um, because I truly appreciate their support. And so I just want to say thank you, really. That's it. Awesome. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any questions for us? Um, 
Not to put you on the spot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you. Yeah, do I have any questions? Yeah, you don't have to have any questions, but I, I, I don't have. To. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I to ask questions honesty. too much. <laughs> You're just here to answer them. <laughs> oh, yes. we can do as tradition. And he has oh. been disrupting this entire podcast all the time. <laughs> Wait, uh, what's his name? Blueberry. Blueberry. Okay, so <laughs> German Shepherd. Am I right? Am I, no, am I he's right? uh, Eurasia. A Eurasia, what's that? I've never yeah, heard of Eurasia. it's it's a pretty new race. Um, they're only like fifty years old, so but he's a puppy, so he's just four months. Right, and how big so do they grow? About, they get about um, twenty six kilos. Like, like a wolf kind of thing. <laughs> pretty big. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he's yeah. he's uh, teething, so he keeps like coming over and biting my hands. So I've just been sitting here having a dog fight the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's yeah. all we had from our end for you. So okay, thank you so thank much you. for joining thank us. This was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Love thank you for having me. Your brain yeah. a little bit. And that's it for our episode this week. Thanks again to Peter for taking the time to sit down with us. If you enjoyed this episode, please rate, review, and follow us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sharing this episode with your friends really helps us out. But thank you for joining us for this week's episode, and see you next week. Bye. 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 I'll think about it actually. <laughs> um, I'll need a team though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be your team. No, we won't be your no. team. <laughs> <laughs>